Okay, Jack, uh, we're going to try to do a little aluminum welding. We'll build on your steel TIG welding. You, I think you've got the hand mechanics down really well. So I'm just going to show you. I've already tacked this, and uh, I'm going to start with a fusion weld. And I'm just going to show you the technique over here, and then I'll let you try it. I'm going to fusion weld that much, and then I'll let you do that, and then we'll flip it over, and you can do the whole back side. So here we go. All right, so did you see that, uh, Jack? See. What I did was I have the, the TIG torch right about here, not too much of an angle, about 70 degrees or so, so that you can see the tungsten, and you want it 90 degrees this way, and you're running your hand with it supported on the bench here, and you get the tungsten down close, and it, it'll just pulse, it'll go and as it keeps going like that you just keep advancing it along this way and you'll see the fusion happening and you get that beautiful looking little weld all right so give so it when it happens i'm specifically pulsing it or it will be pulsing you itself. you have to just push the pedal and it'll pulse itself it's electronically okay. pulsing all right like so let's see what you can do pedal will be right to the floor start back a little bit where i was Start, start back a little bit right where I was and go right over it like and then come come to the left. Up a little bit with the tungsten. Too, too close. Up a little with the tungsten. Up a little bit more. Down a little. Down a little. Pretty easy, isn't it? Isn't that pretty easy? This is so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Try it some more. Start back from where you were. So it... Alright. Right about a quarter of an inch back. Perfect. And that's the first time you ever TIG welded aluminum, period. That was so much fun! <laughs> that was so much better than stainless steel, what the heck? <laughs> I thought aluminum was going to be harder. You kept making it sound like it was going to be evil. <laughs> Alright, let me do the back side now. And see that? See how the, it came through and now we're just going to run it quickly on this back side and then we'll, uh, we'll give it a test. There we are. And now we hit it with a hammer? Yeah, well, the, the power hammer. We'll just to speed up stuff here. So we've got both sides. There's the weld. Now we'll go over to the power hammer. We'll 
smash it down, and then we'll do a torture test on a beater bag. Now we'll sand out just this little bit of stuff here, this little undercut stuff, because that will cause a weakness. So I'll just sand that a little bit, and then we'll give it the test. All right, so I power hammered that uh, aluminum weld. Uh, There's a few little tiny undercuts from the weld biting in a little bit. I made sure that I ground the, every, all the evidence of that away so that they wouldn't be weak, weak points in it when we hammer it. So Jack's going to hammer this now right on the seam and test that weld. She did about half of it. So hit a here and hit here and hit in the middle and you can hit it right on the seam and let's see what happens. I can't believe they're trusting me with the hammer. <laughs> oh, 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 wrong end. You want to go this end. That's the, the ball peen end. Okay, yeah. start. You know, try to get him right for that seam. <laughs> hit it as hard as you can. <laughs> Here's the jack test. No cracks welded strong as the parent metal. The only evidence at all, which is very common, is there's a little bit of a evidence right here that this is the weld seam on either side. It's a couple thousandths uh, higher than the surface right there. But no cracking, it's a perfect weld. First time jack ever welded. Aluminum. And that was with the uh, Argon Helium Mix 5050 with the Everlast TIG welder at 60 amps. And uh, if you watch the other videos on the uh, Racialine's Pro Shaper Workshop, you're going to see the same technique. It works every time. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs>